Yes, Hello. sister. All right. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good evening. All right. I am Ayuni Madarina binti Abdurrahman from Polytechnic Hulu Trungganu. I am a lecturer. Okay. So my question is, based on what you said just now, based on you mentioned just now, to be on top of the world, Islam needs to unite. But seeing our brothers and sisters, especially in Gaza, Palestine, and Syria, that is something unacceptable. All right. <clears throat> so for those who is non-Muslim or who hate, who hate Muslims, they say, why to convert to Islam if it is not a peaceful religion? So what and how we have to do it to promote Islam to those who don't like Islam? Thank you very much. The sisters asked a good question and, and a question at two parts. Number one, that, that to be on top of the world, Islam should unite. The slight choice of word, the right word is Muslim should unite. Islam is already united, Islam is already on top of the world. It is the Muslims who are in the firing line. So if Muslims, if we in, unite, inshallah, like the previous days, we'll be on top of the world. She asked the question that what's happening to the brothers in Gaza, Gaza in Palestine. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's hadith of Sayyid Sayy Bukhari, volume number eight, hadith number 6011, where the beloved Prophet Muhammad said that the believers are those that are merciful to one another. They are the one that love one another and they care for one another and they are like one body. And if one part of the body fall ill, then the whole body, it spends sleepless nights and in fever. So here we agree by the Hadith of Muhammad that if one part of the Ummah is in trouble, it is the duty of the Ummah to support. And I do agree with you that the Muslims as a whole should support the wrong that's happening in Gaza, in Palestine, and normally I give the example that when we see, see the world history, we know that Hitler insinuated six million Jews and many of the Jews fled and some, they went to Palestine and our Muslim brother said, Helen was Helen, you're most welcome. It is like somebody, you know, that is a traveler who requires a roof to live in and the owner of the house gets the person in his house and gives him shelter. After a few days, that traveler kicks the owner out of the house and the owner on the doorstep is crying out. You know, give my house back, give the house back. And the world is saying that the owner of the house is a terrorist. This is what's happening. The Palestinians, they welcome the Jews. They said, Ellen was Ellen. And now, when they take away the land and they, are, and they are crying for their rights, the world is calling them a terrorist. This is the problem with the media. That what we have today is the media. The media is bombarding misconceptions about Islam. And the sister asks the next question. Then the non-Muslim, they say that Islam is not a religion of peace. So why should we accept it? Sister, Islam comes from the root word salam, which means peace. It's also derived from the Arabic word film, which means to submit your will to Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Islam in short means peace acquired by submitting your will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to Almighty God. Today what we find in the media the media is picking a black sheep of the Muslim community and portraying as though it's a religion of terrorism. You know, the Muslims are fundamentalists. So this is the role of the media. What we Muslims should do is use the media to remove the misconceptions. And that is what Peace TV is doing. One of its role is to counter the virulent propaganda of the Western media against Islam. And that is the reason, mashallah, today, alhamdulillah, Peace TV has a viewership of more than 100 million, the English channel, out of which 25% are non-Muslims. We launched Peace TV English in 2006, more than 10 years back, in January 2006. 
which has a viewership of more than 100 million. We launched Peace TV Urdu in June 2009. That is more than six and a half years back, which today has a viewership of 80 million. We launched Peace TV Bangla about five years back in April 2011. And Alhamdulillah, which has a viewership of 50 million. And just about three and a half months back, we launched the fourth channel, Peace TV Chinese in Mandarin. And our main aim is to counter the virulent propaganda of the Western media. And Alhamdulillah, 25% of the viewership is they are non-Muslims. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through his help, is spreading the religion of Islam. And Peace TV, Alhamdulillah, has softened the hearts of millions of Muslims. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through Peace TV has given hidayah to thousands of Muslims. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he make me and Peace TV instrumental in fulfillment of the hadith that inshallah, Islam one day will enter every home. This is the media which is propagating. If this is the case, sister, then why today thousands of non-Muslims accepting Islam? The media malign then says, Islam does not give rights to women. Do you know out of those people accepting Islam, two-thirds are women? Why are the American women accepting Islam? Why are the European women accepting Islam? Because Islam has the solution to the problems of women that is there in the world today. Today, Alhamdulillah, in spite of the virulent propaganda about Islam, in spite of the media spreading misconception of Islam, yet today, Alhamdulillah, Islam is the fastest growing religion of the world. What we want today, that the Muslims should be united, so inshallah, should be united on the basis of the Quran and the authentic hadith, inshallah, again, we'll be on top of the world, sister. Hope that answers the question. Then we have the next question.